Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been so incredibly long, so sorry for that, but I wanted to show you guys a recent haul that I did. I've become addicted, and when I say addicted, you guys don't even realize, and neither does my husband, how much I've spent on Scentsy. And for those of you who don't know what Scentsy is, it's like a company that has like wax melts that you can burn in your house, they have stuff for your car, stuff for the laundry, it is insane and I've fallen absolutely in love with it. So I wanted to show you what I got and what I think of each of the products um, in case you're interested. I don't sell this by any means um, and I'm not getting paid to do this video. Um, but my friend gave me a ton of samples of this and I've also purchased a ton. So without further ado, let's get started. So here is one of my warmers that I have, and I think I currently have Amazon Rain in there. I absolutely love this warmer. It's in our kitchen. That's what it looks like when it's not on. I think it's like called Carrera because it's like the marble design. And then let me show you the one I have in the bedroom. Okay, actually I'm going to show you the one that we have in our downstairs family room, and this is the picture which I absolutely love. Um, our house is kind of like a country theme, so I thought this was perfect for down here. Um, and it looks like there's little hearts on the wall when it's on, I love that. So that's what it looks like when it is turned off. And currently I have Scarlet Woods in there. And I'll review all the scents for you guys. So let me show you our last one that we have in the bedroom now. Okay guys, my husband was busy. Um, doing some stuff in our bedroom so I just grabbed the warmer and came out here in the office so this is my last warmer that I have and it's like a little pineapple there aren't any lights or anything on this so it just looks the same when it's plugged up versus when it's not and currently I have the black raspberry vanilla in this one okay guys we are now in my laundry room and I just wanted to tell you guys um, about the laundry stuff because I have fallen in love like it is insane how much I love this stuff clearly you can tell that I love the scent Luna um, this actually was my first purchase for the washer whiffs and I got a smaller one because I didn't know if I was going to like them and I absolutely love them if I could just show you I don't know if I can get this open with one hand I'm kind of uh, vlogging it right now instead of with my stand let me set you down real quick. Okay, we are back. So here is the one that I purchased. Obviously, I loved it so much it's empty. This is the uh, Scentsy Clean Scent, and I absolutely love this scent. I use it for my, my clothes, my husband and son's clothes, but I absolutely love Luna, and so I bought the bigger um, bundle with this, and you can like save money apparently on it if you buy it in the bundle. So I also purchased the laundry liquid in the Luna, haven't tried this yet, so to be determined on this. And then the dryer disc, you get two in one package. Sorry, this is like super close. Um, the I did buy dryer disc with this scent, the Scentsy Clean scent, and I don't know if I like those as much, so I'm gonna give them another try. And I've also heard that you can put these like in here um, when you're not using them to like make them more potent. So we will see. This is for the dryer. So you just throw this on top of the clothes and it acts as a dryer sheet for your clothes. And then my lovely friend gave me a sample of the Jammy Time uh, washer whiffs because I haven't tried these yet. So I'm excited, guys. Now let's talk about the bars. So one of the first things uh, that I want to show you guys, this is called a car bar. And this is in the scent black raspberry vanilla and this is you could just hang from your mirror in your car and go what I'm doing with mine I put it we have like little hooks in our closet and I put this on like one of the hooks in there and it smells so good in there so I think I'm just gonna keep it in there okay so what I decided to do is pull up the website for you guys so then that way I can kind of give you the notes of each um, scent so then that way you have an idea of what it smells like so I'm trying to find one on here that I can share with you guys okay so the black raspberry vanilla which I have the bars too and this is I mean you can tell I've already used two this is what it looks like when they come in there are eight 
in there. So it says this one is delicious sun sweetened dark berries warmed with vanilla. And this is one of my absolute favorites, you guys. Absolutely love that one. So, so this next one is called Cashmere Pear. And so this is what it looks like when you haven't used it yet. This has a really awesome scent. This says slip into sensual white amber Madagascar vanilla, which is one of my favorite things to bake with. Silky pear and warm red ginger. So I absolutely love this one too. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't burned it. Um, so, but I love the way it smells in the actual package. So that's probably gonna be a winner for me. Another one that I have is cinnamon bear, which it looks like this. And this honestly smells like that, those little round cinnamon candies that I used to eat when I was little. That's exactly what this smells like. But the description says crisp, spicy honey, which is definitely spicy, reminiscent of Red Hot's candy. That is so funny that that's the description with a touch of cloves, it says. So we are pretty spot on with this one, with the description at least. So that the one. next one I have is called Hug in a Mug. And I use this one downstairs in our family room and I feel like it smells like chocolate um, a little bit my husband did not like this one he said it was too strong for his nose um, so I might have to retire this one but the website says who doesn't crave a little TLC um, envelop your home and heart with a warm wrap of chocolate hazelnut and cookie dough so I absolutely love it my husband doesn't so I guess this is kind of like hit or miss and the next scent that I have, I can't find on their website, so this might be discontinued now, but it is called Coconut Cotton. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can. Um, I've used this one a ton, especially in the kitchen. It really just smells like coconut and cotton. I mean, there's no other way like to describe it. It's very fresh, um, so that's why I like using this one in the kitchen. And then the next one, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite. Favorites. This is one of the first ones that I tried recently. It's called Lemon Thyme Berry. You guys, it smells so amazing. Let me pull it up on the website. This one says sparkling lemonade and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. I mean, I put this in the kitchen. Oh, it was amazing, you guys. And I know I keep saying that, but honestly, this is one of my top five. Okay, let's go on to the next scent, which I have. Ooh, honey pear cider. I don't have that one, but I just saw it on their website. This is why I have to stay off of their website because it's it's terrible. So the next one I have is called Glacial Ice. I've used a couple of these, I think, in the kitchen. Um, let me look up the description for you. This one I like, but it's not really one of my favorites. It says embark on an exhilarating arctic adventure led by fresh frosty mistletoe sweetened by a touch of wild berry, which actually is perfectly describing this. Um, but like I said, it's not one of my favorites, but I do like it. Obviously, I've used it a couple of times. So Amazon Rain, let's look up that one. This is what the package looks like. I just got this one today and I've already used two. I put it in the kitchen. Um, and it smells amazing in there, so, yeah. Set off on a rainforest romp, swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming jasmine. So, this definitely makes you feel like you're in the Amazon, if you're never gonna go, like me. I'll probably never get to go to the Amazon forest. I mean, let's be real here. Um, and then also, I have some of the Bring Back My Bar, so they do this sometimes where you can go on their website and vote for your favorites that they've already discontinued, which I voted quite a lot for um, because I tried Scentsy a long time ago before it all evolved and everything. And I remember some of the scents that I liked back then, so I voted and some of them came back, so I was really excited. This one though, I've never tried. This is called Fuzzy Blanket. So let me find Fuzzy Blanket on their website. So this description says, snuggle up to the soft scent of lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. I haven't got a chance to burn this one yet, but it smells like very relaxing and 
be like very tranquil. So definitely excited to try this one. This one is called fried ice cream. And I'm pretty sure this one I'm not too sure about. Haven't used it yet. I just got it today. It's definitely spicy smelling. And this on the website says vanilla with a nutty touch along with cinnamon and caramel, which I definitely smell that cinnamon. So I'm, not, I'm on the fence about this one, guys. I don't know if I'm really going to like it. So I'm going to have to burn it and see. Hopefully I like it. If not, I'll probably pass it along to my mom um, or something. I'm sure she would love it. She loves vanilla. The next one I have, this one, oh my gosh, it smells absolutely amazing. French toast. And this is a bring back my bar. So I think these are only available until the end of... January. This absolutely smells like syrup and French toast and the description says a perfect light slice of bread dunked in golden egg batter dusted with powdered sugar and finished with a swirl of sweet maple syrup. Perfectly describes this. They could have, I mean they nailed it on the head with that description. And then now you guys this is like my favorite scent obviously as I showed you with the laundry stuff. This is Luna love 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 the scent um i mean i don't what does it say white florals jasmine sweet pea freesia juicy berries and sandalwood shimmer like moonlight this is my absolute favorite like i got all the laundry stuff i have a scent pack which i'll show you this is a little scent pack i plan on putting this in my car so it smells really good um so yeah but you can always, I guess, use these in uh, the little buddies that they have. They have like little stuffed animal toys for kids. And you can put these in there, I'm assuming, because it says insert scent pack into the pocket of the buddy. Also perfect for drawers, closets, gym bag, or anywhere you would like a touch of fragrance. So I'm going to put this in my car because this is my absolute favorite scent ever. This is Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. I used a ton of this over the holidays it smells absolutely amazing it smells like really like if you walked into my house it would be like I was baking that's exactly what this smells like fresh pumpkin garnish with cinnamon stick and a dollop of whipped icing so and these like make me hungry so this isn't very good for my diet right now so the next one oh my gosh you guys I know I keep saying like I love this one I love this one but coconut lemongrass is one of my absolute favorites. Um, this one I had in my bedroom until I switched it out today with the black raspberry vanilla. I have that one in my room now, but this one smells so fresh, so clean. Oh my gosh, let me pull up the description. This one says creamy tropical coconut and sunny bright lemongrass. You guys, try this one. Not, not even kidding. It's one of my favorites. And then the next one I have, I'm really on the fence about it. I'm burning this scent and it is called Ambrosia in the office where I'm at. And I don't know if I like it, to be honest. Um, it says the, sweet, the sweetest fruit salad ever, tropical pineapple, mandarin, orange, uh, juicy pears and ripe Concord grapes with hints of jam and fruit nectar. So I thought, oh my gosh, I will absolutely love this one. This is one of the bring back my bars. I used one cube in my little thing in here, but I just, I don't know. It doesn't smell like I thought it would, so I'm not really feeling this one, guys. And then um, the next one I have is called Beach. This is what it looks like. I haven't got a chance to burn it. Just got it today, but it smells just like. I don't even know like you would really be like at the beach papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut so um this one i mean it smells good but i don't know if i'm gonna really like love this one so we'll see i mean my friend always tells me that things will smell differently when you burn them versus in the package so that one I could possibly like even more, not really sure. Uh, next one I have is Sea Salt and Avocado, which is this little package here. Clearly I'm an addict and I 
buy like a billion of these at a time. Um, the description, you do you. While pink sea salt, Valencia orange, and creamy avocado keep your spirit in flight. So this smells like, again, really clean, fresh, healthy. I don't even know if that even makes sense that it smells healthy, but I like that. So it's called Pretty and Plum. This is definitely not one of my favorites right now. It is still on the website. This just says red plum gets pasty perfect with black coconut and sweet cream. So that description, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to love it. And it's not terrible. I mean, I've used a couple of them in the kitchen, but it's just not one of my favorites by any means. And then this big guy, um, I actually was just given this for free um, because my friend wanted to pass it along. This is what a brick looks like. So they, they are actually super huge compared to the regular bars. And then they have these, I mean, they're a lot, lot bigger. Um, but she was like, I just kind of want to pass this along. I've used it for a long time and I know I wanted to try this scent. This is the pineapple coconut vanilla. Creamy, tropically inspired fragrance, sure to set your spirit free. So it doesn't really tell you much. Pineapple, coconut, and vanilla pretty much sums it up for this one. Now I have a ton of samples that she gave me to try also. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on those. So here is Twilight. I almost ordered this one because the description on the website made it sound like it was stuff that dreams were made of. Like it was just amazing. And then um, I smelled it. And I'm like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> So let me find it on their website. This just says, a lovely sophisticated scent infused with soft romantic florals and ocean air. I don't know, I'm gonna have to burn this and try, but I don't know if I like this one, guys. It's just hmm, interesting. And then, Simply Irresistible. That almost smells like man cologne so the simply irresistible is lavender with a strong woody background of amber moss and musk so this reminds me of like men's cologne i think i'm gonna like this one as long as i don't use too much of it at one time fresh cut grass i had asked my friend about this i was like have you smelled this one and she was like no but i'm gonna order it so it definitely smells just like fresh cut grass, like not even kidding. And I was just like fresh cut fairway on a cool summer morning. So they ain't lying guys. And then here is one of my son's favorites. So this is called Jammy Time. And he has a Scentsy buddy in his room that's a little panda called Shushu. And it's very um like a relaxing scent, I think, anyways. It says, help kids drift into dreamland with the soothing blend of baby freesia, lavender, and sweet pea. Perfect for bedrooms and evening baths. So this smells very, very good. I like this one a lot. Um, and I also have it in the laundry stuff that I showed you guys, so. And then a wink and smile. This smells really good. This is another bring back my bar. Let's see what this description says. Flirty, girly, fresh scent of tulips and daffodils in full bloom, rounded out with plummy lemonade. So, I really like this one. I'm kind of sad that it's not like a permanent one. I think I ordered one of these, maybe. I don't know. At this point, I don't even know what I've ordered because I've ordered so much stuff. It's like out of hand. A mulberry bush. This is like a dark reddish purple color. Sorry, this is kind of like informational, but I know if I like leave out what they actually smell like, people will be like, well, I wouldn't know what they smell like. So, sweet mulberry accident with bittersweet orange peels. So, it's very strong. Um, it like kind of hits you in the face. It almost smells like a mixed cocktail drink, um, like with muddled uh, berries and stuff in it. But I think I will like that. Caramel Vanilla Delight. Sounds pretty much just like it is. It's very strong again. Um, kind of like a coffee that you would have, probably. Let's pull this up. We'll see what this says. 
guys. Vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and a splash of white rum. So yeah, this is like a, a morning cocktail right here. And then pear blossom cucumber, which I almost bought this one, but I was like, no, like you've already bought hundreds of dollars. So you just need to chill it out, girlfriend. So luckily I got a sample. Let's smell this. It smells so good, you guys. It says it's the little la, 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 la. It says it's the blooming beauty of spring with pear blossom, rain kiss, jasmine, honeydew, and Meyer lemon soothed by a splash of cucumber water. This is very relaxing, very fresh. Perfect. I love this one. So I might have to buy this before the end of January since this is a bring back my bar scent. Yeah. Mediterranean Spa. So this is what it looks like. It's like a little blue color. Relax with this smooth, fresh, and breezy scent. And this is a bring back my bar. So it was only available till January, uh, the end of January. So I think I'm going to have to buy this one too. This one's fresh, smooth, something you would smell like if you went to a spa. So I'm impressed. And I think that's everything that I have. Oh, I do have downstairs uh, Scarlet Woods. This one. Find your fairy tale in vivid notes of cassis and red berry over crisp white cedar. I really like that one downstairs. It's very like holiday smelling. So I do like that one. Okay guys, I had to mention this as well because I forgot to mention this in my initial video. So this is the Scentsy Luna uh, Room Spray. And basically, oh, if I'm gonna drop it and break it, I hope not. Just as like a little spray bottle. I've actually sprayed this in the house already. I just got it this morning uh, when I went to breakfast with my friend. And holy Jesus, I sprayed this on our, um, what is it called? The air filter for the house. Guys, no joke. Pick this up for real. Okay, I'm back. So let's talk bath bombs, guys. I bought every single bath bomb that they have. Um, so here is Luna, sea salt avocado, Sunkissed Citrus, which I haven't tried this one yet. Amazon Rain, haven't tried this one yet. And Jammy Time. Um, so I bought an initial round when they only had three cents, I think. Loved every one of them. These are the most, and let me pull one out for you. These are the most moisturizing um, bath bombs I've ever used over Lush, over Bath and Body Works, um, over anything I've used. These are the absolute best and I'm not even kidding. I think these are $8 I want to say. These actually work. They moisturize my skin. I don't have to use the lotion after the bath. Like I know other bath bombs like I feel like my skin feels stripped and it doesn't feel moisturized. These are the bomb. Like the bath bomb. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you want to try anything, try these bath bombs because you will not be sorry. Um, so yeah, sorry if this is like a super long video. I have a ton of stuff, so I wanted to go through all of it with you guys, kind of do a Cincy haul, um, explain everything and what they smell like. And so yeah, sorry if this is kind of long, guys, but I hope it hope it was informational and you got something out of this. Leave comments below if you've tried Scentsy. I will leave my friend's link um, in there if you guys want to purchase something from her website. Uh, this is her information if you can see that. If not, I will link it all below. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and if you didn't, I'm sorry. This is not the video for you. But I'm trying to do more videos. Life has just been really busy um, with the holidays and everything. I'm trying to get back in the swing of work. So I'm sorry it's been so long since I've done a video. But I will try to be better in 2018. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.